we are in the old town. You know, like ding dong. Old towns and cobbled streets. There are two parts to this bazaar. See, everyone is so friendly. Oh, Zor. No, Gazor. We even have traditional baklava. These two are the best. Thank you. <laughs> well, next time we'll do it again. Good afternoon, guys, from Pristina in Kosovo. We are in the old town of Pristina today, which is completely different. I do love an old town. And that is because of the bazaar, which we will be checking out in a bit. But right now, I am just in front of the clock tower, uh, which is near the King Mosque. So many mosques in the old town, um, obviously due to its history, hence the bazaar, but I will get into that later. The clock tower, um, I love clock towers. They look so nice. It, the clock tower is funny because it's been redesigned and rebuilt quite a few times. It used to have, um, bell chimes you know like ding dong but they got stolen and it hasn't worked properly for a good few years they've replaced it with a digital clock now so it looks much more modern but it was built so long ago and it's still standing uh, to a certain extent and this is the clock tower it was built in the 19th century it's a pretty cool spot for a photo you can see you used to be able to go in here a lot of graffiti it's now actually closed and boarded up which is a real shame the architecture here in the old side of town is really different as well. You'll find that there will be a lot of mosques and a lot of the roofs actually have the red like thatched roofs, which I really, really like. Oh, and you can't forget a cobbled oh, street. what is it with the cobbled street? <laughs> old towns and cobbled streets, just like they go hand in hand. We're gonna be heading to my favorite thing ever, as I said, which is the bazaar. And it played a really important role in developing Pristina as a city economically and socially and we are in the old bazaar i love these places there's just so much going on this is really like an an old school market rather than a bazaar with lots of shops as a market itself built in it was actually built during the ottoman era in the 1500s 1600s um, it was actually destroyed in the 50s because they wanted to get rid of a lot of the old and bring in the new two parts to this bazaar as far as i can make out there's like the covered bazaar and then there's like the open bazaar but this bit this bit is what excites me the most look at how much there is like most bazaars it seems to have everything but i like this one it's more raw it's more local um it's not like a, some bazaars you go to them and they're almost staged but this really is a local market you've got your fruit and veg you've got your flowers you've got your food you've got your souvenirs there's, you, there's everything you could want here outside of the old bazaar sort of high street if you like which has so many gold and silver shots i mean it's not good for matt because everything is sparkling in the windows as we walk past um, it's sparkling and you're not getting it <laughs> like literally but there's also really nice clothes shops as well i think it's like traditional dresses uh, and traditional clothes for men as well it's just a very blingy street walking along here jewelry shop jewelry shop Jewelry shop. There is so many jewelry shops. Actually, Kosovo is one of the biggest selling things out there. I think they sell a lot of gold. Yeah. I think silver and gold is a big selling thing. Well, by the looks of this street, anyway, here in the old town. Anything. Oh, and guess what? Jewelry shop. <laughs> I persuaded Molly that she doesn't need any gold. Some of the gold is so nice, and the silver it was so sparkly. And because there were so many shops, every time I walked down there, my head was like this, like every two <laughs> seconds. Um, but we walked up, and we've come to the oldest remaining building in Pristina. That is old. It is so old. I can't pronounce the name of it, but most, there's so many different names, but the, the most moss. common is the stone, yeah. It's, it's impressive. It's old. It's really old. Look, <laughs> you can see the stone minaret here, and you come down, and it's obviously being refurbished here, which makes sense. The oldest building, like, packs and slap. As Google Maps don't work the best out here, when you notice this stone mosque, that is pretty much the start of the old town. Because behind me is all like the new modern buildings, the skyscrapers and whatnot. Then when you get here, you've got more of the mosques, the low red thatched roofs. And we're actually gonna walk back into, we've literally walked the old town, we've done a loop of the old town, and we're walking back in because we actually, it's crazy. As I was, um, that's really loud. <laughs> 
See, everyone is so friendly in Kosovo, which actually leads me into what we're doing now. We were, as I was flying the drone, two guys come up to me and were talking to me like, oh, you're from England. They had really good English, by the way. And they said, oh, it is a custom out here. We've got to invite you for a cup of tea, a coffee, a drink or whatever. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and meet them back near the clock tower and go for a coffee. So we met our friends and we basically said, do you want to go to a traditional cafe, restaurant? We're like, yeah, definitely. We need to see this. And it actually turns out we've gone to Liberna, which is the place Surprisingly, we're coming tomorrow to do a food video. Not too much food today, just a beer up Pristina, which is draft. I haven't actually had a Pristina before, so that's a new one for me. Taste test, ice cold. Oh, it's a little bit sweeter than the paya. Is it? I really like it, Gazor. So these are our friends. Everyone in Kosovo is so nice. They've invited us for a drink. Gazor. No, Gazor. Gazor, Gazor. We even have traditional oh, baklava so many nuts in it it's not just like pistachios it's also like big walnuts in it Thank and it's you. so so sweet but the pastry is so crispy baklava is becoming my new favorite thing thank you guys okay. the best kosovan okay. hosts these two are the best thank you well, next time we'll do it again ferric and shaib were so so sweet what a lovely thing to do we've been officially welcomed to pristina in kosovo now they were so so nice um but we've made it to bar street we're gonna call it that that's the informal name um it's got really nice bars and restaurants which are absolutely packed at the minute because the curfew ends in two hours everyone is out really quickly um but first before we go to bar to a bar we've come to green protein can you believe it we're actually going to be eating something healthy tonight um and we've gone for two veggie veggie are they veggie, veggie, vegan or veggie i don't know it's not a problem it's, yeah, mm. we're not sure we're skeptical. we're skeptical so two veggie burgers we don't even know yeah. what's in it because the menu was in uh Gosman, so this will be fun Wow, that was surprisingly good. I'm never the biggest fan of like veggie burgers or vegan burgers, but green, green and protein. There's actually one in Tirana as well. I remember seeing it. Really, really good. Does your smoothies, does your bowls, like your breakfast bowls, things like that. Does your burritos, does your wraps, does your sandwiches, does your veggie burgers, but also does chicken burgers and beef burgers. But we thought we'd try something different, but it is 10 to eight now. I have one hour of pay a drinking time. Oh, until I need to be back to the hotel for the curfew and luckily we are on this road here which is basically like a bar street going all the way up Eight fifty-three. we made it back with seven minutes to spare I managed to have two quick pay of beers in tandem really nice street there really good day actually I, um, I really like the old town made great friends kosovans are so hospitable this is what i'm saying pristina kosovo you need to travel this country there's a lot to see and this is just a city center come out of breath we had to we had to run back to make sure we made it back for nine o'clock great beers great old town great friends we've made great vegan burger never thought i'd say that all around good day but we'll see you again tomorrow for another day in kosovo